He stays at Irkwama Hostel in Rurindo District, one of five districts of Rwanda's northern province, about 40 kilometers away from Kigali City, the Rwandan capital. Wenceslas Nizeimana, one of the founding members of the FDRR, a genocidal terrorist outfit operating the DRC, returned to Rwanda only 12 years ago. He has since been engaging in a wide range of projects, including farming, pig farming, and agriculture, which has so far paid off in terms of improving his family's welfare. Together with his family, they spend their time working in their banana plantations as well as attending their cattle and pigs. This has become their source of their livelihood. As a keto farmer, he attributes all his success to the Rwanda's inclusiveness policy and vision to all Rwandans. Wenceslas Nizeimana, a former canoe in the FDRR, believes the headways made so far hinges on the country's resilience in the fights against indivisionism among Rwandans. <laughs> Look at the hygiene. I remember when the government decided to let all Rwandans wear shoes. We heard it on news from our jungles in the DRC. I was still in the forest, but I said to myself that this was not going to be possible because we believed that the government didn't have the money to make this happen. But President Kagame made it possible. Secondly, when the government decided to ban all grass-hatched houses, commonly referred to as Nyakatsi, we as FDLR members back in Congo denounced it, claiming that the government was forcing people out of their houses. But gradually, this was instilled in people's minds, and they made it their responsibilities. Even those with limited or no means got support from the government. Now, this demonstrates the government's commitment to serve all Rwandans on equal grounds. It is obvious that all Rwandans are equal. Kano Wenceslas Nizeimana is one of over 12,000 returnees who have repatriated from the DRC jungles so far. As key founding members of the FDRR and Rudu Urunana, his narration depicts their commitment to the forming groups that were opposed to insecurity to Rwanda. When we got there, we formed FDLR group. I was one of the founders. I was a battalion leader and later became a deputy brigade commander. A few years later, I took the lead in the formation of another affiliated group of Rud Urunana, with which I was its deputy commander. But as we proceeded, some of the frictions emerged, especially after some of our leaders had repatriated, say General Guarakavije and others. Again, our commander thought I had this ambition of overthrowing him, an accusation that had never crossed my mind. I thought this could lead to the loss of my life. That's when I started contemplating on how I could repatriate too, because then it was just two years after my wife had returned to Rwanda. Therefore, in April 2011, I decided to return to Rwanda. Nizeimana's wife, Oizeimana Vestin, who had stayed in Rwanda for just two years before her husband says returning to Rwanda was not that simple decision to take. But she found a different story upon arriving back to Rwanda. I was very nervous by the time I came back in Rwanda. Deep down, I wondered how they will receive me, bearing in mind I was a wife to a person from the after all. I can't lie, I couldn't feel it. But contrary to my thoughts, I was received with open hands. I have been enjoying this hospitality, peace and everything. I have spent years here and I have never had any gunshot. I'm very grateful to the president who has been integrating soldiers from Habyarimana's regime and now they are considered peaceful Rwandans. I'm grateful to him because he assisted us in various ways. Frankly speaking, he has done everything that we needed. When I came, I had some injuries. They took me to Kanombe Hospital. From there I was treated and got well. I have since been okay and I'm really grateful. Twelve years down the road, Wenceslas Nizimana is now employing over 200 people, including those who work for the private security company he established. This is Tuishimide Lohie, who takes care of Nizimana's domestic animals, and Ukwizaba Diramari Jose, one of the managers of Rukosek a private security company that was established by Nizeimana. 
The first thing I appreciate is that I'm not unemployed. Be a burden to the government. Over the years, I bought a piece of land and built my house. I have a family. I attribute all this to this job. All this makes me happy and hardworking. I may give an example from my own experience. I had a house, but not a modern house. But I currently have a house with tiles and other equipment because of Rukosek. The Rwanda Demobilization and the Reintegration Commission's responsibilities is repatriating, training, supporting, reintegrating and follow-up on former fighters and soldiers after their repatriation to Rwanda. The Commission has for some years been empowering them particularly to contribute to the comprehensive development of the country. This is Valeri Nirahavineza, the chairperson of this commission. When they are in trainings, we teach them their rights, rights as Rwandans, and how they can contribute to the development of their country. We remind them of their fundamental rights as citizens. You have rights, yes. You get a home, join various programs initiated by His Excellency, the President of the Republic. We appreciate his efforts. But again, you owe your country a contribution. We remind them of how they should stop from evolving in any association of what they have been doing in the DRC and be ready to fight for their country. But again, we do a follow-up on them to see whether or not they comply with what they were taught. Nizeiman and his wife have gone through this program too and are grateful for the current life they are living as they also urge others who are still in the forest to come back to their home country. I urge them to come back home. Do they not see that I'm doing well? No one in this country discriminates. No one in this country can own what is yours. You work and save. You deposit on your bank account. I would urge them to come back and work. There is peace in the country. Never had a gunshot since I came in 2009. They should come and join us so that we can work. If they are poor, we will give them pigs. I urge them to come and work for their country. <laughs> I can say that the military struggle is over. We are only struggling for development. It is not simple now to just launch an attack. Technology has always been the way to go. The moment you try, cameras and drones are there to monitor your bad intentions and you could easily be destroyed with your weapons. And for the fact in Congo, they are still using Kalashinkov and Motia for fighting and with no unlimited number of bullets, and not everyone owns a gun. This country has made a lot of headways, including military technologies. I can assure you that no one can attack Rwanda and get away with it, be it Rwandans or their supporters. No one can destabilize Rwanda. No one can dare to destabilize Rwanda. They should instead come. Valerie Nirahavineza, chairperson of the Rwanda Demobilization and Reintegration Commission, says the process through which repatriated people have been going through before full integration has been commendable, with a lot of foreigners coming in to draw experience and best practices. We already have many success stories, to the extent where some other countries come to witness the progress of those people who came along from those forests, how they are living, and how all these programs dedicated to them are implemented, hence to find themselves included as Rwandans. And all is done through this commission that have this particular mandate to reintegrate all the former members of the military. Among 12,715 were demobilized, where 12,195 of them are men while other 104 are female soldiers with 47 girls and 36 boys, whereas 77 of those are still in the Mutobo Transit Center. Adams Kuizera, RTV News.